Um, well, this is again a, a uh, battle for my friend and I. We started it off kind of strange, as I should say, because we tr we just chose random characters and we probably didn't even get to do any good characters. Now, from the start of this battle, obviously, if you later on, when you see our characters list, you're not really going to see anything that special, to be honest. <clears throat> And what he did was, actually with this, is he actually chose random music, and he got the menu music, and it was like the worst music ever. So obviously his team has a fair lead on mine. Yeah, the Doria and Birder and everything. They're not really that great of characters. Um, Later on in the battle, you'll see like how the effects turn out. My friend plays Dragon Ball Z a lot more than me, but I am a fan of the anime. From the start of this battle, it kind of... Thought, I thought for sure I was going to lose. Uh, you'll see the outcome, but... We just stand off and we see who does the attack first in the beginning. And obviously it's me, and he tries doing Genocide Breaker. And for some reason, I can't block um, Boo's attacks. I, I Even though I was recoiled there later... Um, when he starts attacking me, I just can't block it. Oh, that's the first one I blocked. I'm having, I was having difficulty as I was playing. Yeah, just like that. Yep. And then he does right when he gets me recoiled. I have to. He does his rush attack, which in this game is very overpowered. And then he hits me. Can't. All right, try blocking it. And then he crushes my block. And then he kicks it, breaks my block again. And then he does that, you know. See, he blocks it at that last second right there, and I'm not able to do that. Yeah, and that, the beam doesn't, doesn't, it's not supposed to have that long of a range. By the way, this isn't live commentary, this is commentary afterwards. Um, I should probably put some text inside of the, uh, when it first starts, saying that this isn't live. Um, he used gen he just used Genocide Breaker, which is a move that never misses, but you can just keep spamming it even if the guy is blocking. And for some reason there, my... Yeah. I think, yeah. In order to counteract the Genocide Breaker, I did Stardust Breaker. I don't... I'm not sure, but I think I end up killing Boo later with other attacks. I keep saying later and later in the battle. I should stop saying that. <clears throat> yeah, like right there. I hate it when my camera like focuses on the middle of my character. Usually it doesn't do that. And uh, from my other battles with my friend Nick, I've come prepared knowing more combos because before I was having a lot of trouble doing that. Like I couldn't memorize combos because I'm a professional at Tenkaichi 3. But I haven't started. I haven't played Raging Blast at all. Like Battle Z is like so new to me, and I had no idea what I was doing. And right as I got all these combination moves, I just thought, you know, I'm gonna kill him. I didn't even know why I wasted my key there. I could have just punched him. I guess just to keep it safe, I started to use my key attacks. And then there's Zarbon. Now, he has two high tension attacks. And he has one move that can completely own your team, and you can, it's like impossible for you to win. You can't win at all. So I thought, we, I forgot his skill list for Zarbon, so I thought I'd make a joke and we can do fat people versus fat people. But see, if you see there, he had a monster crush move, and then I'm like, oh wait, oh no, what am I going to do? That, that move is like incredibly overpowered, as you'll, as you'll see. But like, I, I was like trying to punch him as much as I can, because I don't want it to charge his key. I was really like trying there, because if he charges key once, he would keep that, since he has high tension, he has two high tensions, he, I would have to somehow break his key, and I do not want him to charge, I want to take him out before he's able to get the monster crush attack, but sadly, later on, it doesn't work that well in my favor. 
That, for some reason, did not lift him off the ground into a phase, but this, for some reason, yeah, he bl he dodged that somehow. Uh, he, it's not like he had Wild Sense or After Image. Or did he have Wild Sense? Yeah, he did have Wild Sense. So he has two High Tensions and a Wild Sense. High Tension is like a move where you get full power instantaneously. Yep, and that Wild Sense, you can't do anything about it. So I'm like, oh no, you got his key up. I can't, it's impossible. I can't do anything at all. Can't counter it. I can't. Later on in the video, I used the same character who's using, not same character. I was counteracting Wild Sense. That's when I actually figured out how to counter it. But with the Doria, since he's really slow, it's like really impossible to counter that move. Yep, Monster Crush. Can't block that attack, Monster Crush. But you can keep spamming it. As you can see there. Zarbon's arms went right through the door the Doria. So there's really nothing else I was able to do here in instead of punching him when his key was low. No, nope, but his wild sense was still active and I tried countering it, but no, his wild sense activated again. You can't beat a wild sense in that punch breaker thing. Um because it it'll, since it's active for a while, I can't keep clicking R B and Y to teleport behind him. Wild sense always wins. But if it was a thing, if it was a move combo versus after image and wild sense, it would have been a lot easier for me to actually, you know. <sighs> after image always beats wild sense, that's what I'm trying to say. And then we thought we would do a move combination there. For some reason, I was winning. I was like, oh, I got you. And then all of a sudden, whoa, it went back. I don't know why. It was really dumb. And I don't know how, why I didn't win there, because usually, yeah, I, I think Gogeta dies too. But I switch him up with, I think, Trunks? No, the Android. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, probably, you know, he's going to deflect that. No, he actually wild sensed it. Usually he turned it to a show off and deflects it. Sadly for the androids, they can't actually charge their key. I have to wait. And then he uses Monster Crush, but he misses. Thank God, because he was like a little bit far behind me. Don't let that fool you, though, because there's a lot more Monster Crush later later on in this video. Yeah, he blocks that, even though he was... I don't even know. Yeah, see, he, he deflected it. Could have just... Yeah. Yep, can't do anything about that Wild Sense. Pretty, pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I try using the eye beam so I can counter him, but nope, Monster Crush yet again. Can't do anything about that. He shoots me like a nuke. Now, what I thought here is I can't get anywhere near him because then he just goes to get enough key and then uses high tension. And then he starts rushing to me and then he keeps using Monster Crush. And I can't do anything about that. So just watch here for the next few minutes to watch my whole team get annihilated. Yep, and then he kicks me like that. Should have backed up so I so I get a charge, but I didn't think about it at the time. Yep, Wild Sense counteracted that. So can't really do anything. High tension. Then he's going to use the Monster Crush. There you go. Can't block that attack. <sighs> Nukes me. <laughs> um, yeah, there's really nothing for me to do here. Thank God this is pre-recorded. Well, not pre-recorded. Well, recorded as the videos. Well, you know what, pre-recorded, whatever. Um, because I'm pretty sure this doesn't hit him. No, it doesn't for some reason. Then he monster crushes me. He misses because I finally figured out how to get out of the way. And I try getting somewhere near him. I try getting behind him to use the attack. But sadly, I forgot he had Wild Sense activated. I couldn't do anything about that. Um. You know, it just, you can't do anything about. I think Gogeta was the only one capable of taking him down at the time. 
Gogeta, why? You failed me. At this game, you can spam rushes like crazy because every single time you punch someone, you gain key. And you can't really counteract that in any way. If you keep getting punched, you'll just keep losing key and they'll keep gaining key. Now, with Trunks, what I did was I just. There's no, I have no special moves on Trunks. He has the slowest attack, but he has the fastest charge. And then he monster crushes me, grabs my head. Hits me on the back, snaps my back, nukes me like this, boom, and then I don't know what I do from there. Literally, one Monster Crush attack was the equivalent of his health. He used one Monster Crush attack on me, and I, I lost the same amount of health that he has gained. <sighs> that wild sense, I can't do anything about it. Uh, yep, and then he nukes me, monster crush. I mean, there's not really much to it. I mean, he just keeps spamming that move until I die. But Birder, I started trying to kill him because I knew Birder's attacks was really fast. In Tenkaichi 3, Birder was really overpowered. Like, you could just, all you have to do is charge to full power, and then his final move was just overpowered. As he was charging, I tried to get an attack off there, but I, since I love how fast Birder attacks, and I wish everyone else attacked like that, I actually was managed to get some hits on the Doria, I mean Zarbon. And I counteracted that wild sense. I don't know how, but for some reason with Birder, I can do that. I can't do it with any other character. Then he just, you know, does that to me and can't do anything about it. Yeah. Blows me up. I just disappear when that happens. Like, yep, and then he kicks me and he's going to charge up to about half key and then he's going to use high tension. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, there goes his high tension. And I try using my ultimate on him, like, right when he gets up close to me. But no, of course, it doesn't work. Wild Sense activated. Then Elegant Blaster comes in. And I thought maybe we should probably end this battle with a, like, what do you, whatchamacallit? Uh, a Key Breaker or a Blast Breaker, whatever it's called. But I don't know. I forgot what happened after that. I said that. I think we did it, right? Or did I just die here? Yeah, we did it. And I think I ended up winning this one because I was like killing my controller. For some reason, I don't know why he got 46. I don't remember what he said, to be honest. Maybe he messed up or clicked the Xbox button because that's really annoying. You click the Xbox button, you're fucked. You're fucked. But okay. Here comes Trunks. You don't want to get Trunks in Super Saiyan. Or you will die. Yep, finish Buster. For some reason that missed. And I didn't even get an attack. He flex it. Once he goes to Super Saiyan, he has this ultimate move. Yep, for some reason that only went forward that attack. It didn't like yep. KO, I lost that first battle. Um, I would say he's better than me just because he knows more combinations than me of move attacks, and I don't. I'm kind of a noob when it comes to combos. I just punch and use my key attacks whenever I have it available to me. That's my downfall, pretty much. Right when I started... He was actually like, dude, I don't even have to try. And then a little bit later, he's like, I can't believe it, but I think I have to try to beat you now. And yes, we did random battles again. I don't even know. I didn't really get... I thought at the time I didn't get a good team. And then... You'll see what happens. I had the worst team, I thought. I'm like, wow. I'm like, the only one that's going to be able to do something is Vegeta. Vegeta. 
and he accidentally forgot to change the music there. We always listen to, like, the really awesome music, not just the default one. I think for one of the battles, he chose by accident the menu music. I think that was the first battle, I'm not sure. <laughs> it, right, we were, like, laughing our heads off. We were saying, dude, why is the, why is the menu music battle music? It's hilarious. In this battle, I finally learned how to counteract and block other attacks. It just takes a lot of button mashing. Not button mashing. Like, you actually need to know what you're pressing. And I tried remembering. Yep. Got my first key attack off of him. I get the Gallic Gun off. Of course, he blocks my puncher. And I, since he's slowly moving towards me, I thought it was a perfect chance for me to use my Gallic Gun. And I think yet again we're gonna we're about to do our special. He said something right here saying he wanted to role play. He said, Gino, come here. He's like, What? He's like, Come here. I have to do something. I'm like, Okay. He's like, Help me, help me. I can't get up and he's like, Oh I hate you so much, you lied to me. And I just wanna get revenge right there. And then and then all of a sudden he's like, This time I swear to god, I wanna role play? And I'm like, sure. And he's like, all right, I'm not going to hurt you. Just come closer. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what is it? I'm like, oh, dude, you lied to me. And I'm like, not taking that. And for some reason, when I kicked him up in the air, that combo didn't work. Usually it does work. I tried doing it again. Didn't work. And then he switched, and I wanted to use the Gallic Gun key attack on... The first character that came up after he switched. I don't remember who he switched to. I think it was another Vegeta, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was Vegeta. He switched to fight with Gohan from Gohan. He switched to Vegeta. I think it's two Vegeta. No, it's Nappa. Oh, yeah, I remember. He is like, Nappa. <laughs> um, yeah, Volcano Explosion. Worst move ever in this game. For some reason, I, I was going to headbutt him, and I don't know why I wanted to kick him up in the air. That This move doesn't even work. It, it's like the easiest move to block. Yep, and that's what I wanted to do, by the way, by kicking him up in the air. And for some reason, that Gallic Gun did not do any damage whatsoever. This is cool right here. We don't even know what happened. We're like, oh my god, can we do that again? And I'm like, sure, are you ready? Five, four, three, two. All right, we do it again. He misses. I accidentally forgot. And I'm like, oh, wait. All right, so we try it again. And I'm like, don't shoot that key attack at me because it's actually going to hit me. So then we try it yet again. And we want it to be cooler than before. So I try it again. And for some reason, it went right through it. Blocks it, deflects it, rather. For some reason, we're just going like key attack, full on key. Um, what does he do? Oh, I was just figuring out to see if I have any wild sense or anything, but no, I only have explosive wave. Deflects it. Yeah, we're. I don't even know what we were doing here. We're just using a bunch of key attacks just to see what we would be able to do. Nap cannon, easiest move, but for some reason my ca my attack just blew up in his face and it didn't do anything. Try kicking him up in the air, try blocking this. It's a real pain of a move sometimes. Yep, and that's what I wanted to do before, but I hate that there's a wall there to block everything. Wish this game was free roam, like you'd go wherever you want in the world. You, the enemy would have to follow you to kill you. And for some reason, that punch to uppercut did not do anything to him. I thought there was something wrong there. And thankfully, the only purpose, the only good purpose about the wall is it made me move. So, to dodge that attack as I was getting recoiled. Now, here, we wanted to do a combo breaker, but we're like, eh. I, I thought I might as well just turn him around and give him a nice pat on the back. Yep. 
Volcano explosion, not the best move. Alright, so I took out Nappa with quite ease. He says, right after I kill Nappa, he says, dude, I don't know if I can win. I'm like, yep, you're pretty much screwed. He's like, right when he did that, he's like, oh, crap, why did I do that? I'm like, yeah, just kill him. You just keep charging my energy. Thank you. And then, again here, for some reason, he wanted to do a key, uh... Uh, blast breaker thing, and I'm like, okay, we do it again. Use my ultimate. Alright, so let's see who wins this one. I don't know who won now. Oh, apparently I won. Because he hit the Xbox home button again. Yep, so I killed Super Saiyan 2 with a regular Saiyan. That doesn't make any sense. Ah, and this is where Vegeta comes in. And this is where the pain comes in. The wild sense just doesn't stop. Right when he does wild sense, it just it just kill it killed me. There's, no, there's nothing I can do. He's in. Of course, he forgot to change what direction. Yep, right there. I don't know what I just did there. No idea. See that block? I I flipped. I did a block. He dodged out with wild sense for some reason. It still hit him. And we were just like, that was epic, what just happened there. Yep, he punched me, I couldn't move back for some reason. Whenever I move forward, I can't move back. It's a hazard, and then he hits me with big bang attack. Best, ah, uh, don't hit me, okay. I love how I said don't hit me, and it's like, this isn't even live. <laughs> Oh, and then right when I got to this point, I'm like, oh, hi there. How are you? I wanted to get one more attack off of him before I was able to do that. I don't know why I used the volley attack. I should have just used Gallic Gun. But maybe I thought I was way too close to the water. And that's the end of Vegeta, the same Prince. Yep. And then, since I realize I realized that Krillin has After Image, After Image is a lot better than Wild Sense, because After Image can counteract Wild Sense. And I'm like, alright, come near me, bro, come near me. Then here, I decided to use the Destructo Disc, because I knew his attack wouldn't last that long. Then I decided to check on After Image to see if it's still active. It still is. Boom. I don't know why I still lost that key breaker right there. Now here, I think he starts trying to attack me because he doesn't want my key to go up for after image. But too late for him. For some reason, I'm not dodging any of these key attacks with after image. But it does end up being very successful. See, after image, boom, counteracted wild sense. Act oh, and then did it again. And then I'm like, oh crap, right when he does that, I'm like, I gotta get out of the way after image. See, but it's so overpowered after him. It's just so much better than Wild Sense. Alright, I use After Image again right there. Boom, After Image beats Wild Sense. And it would not let me use my Kamehameha, as I should say, to beat him right there. Nope, After Image. That's what, basically what was happening there was happening to me before some reason, those first three or two destructive discs did not do any damage. Maybe would have been enough to kill him. I'm not sure. Tried doing it again, though. He's going to hit me with his, try to hit me with his attack. Nope. After image. Then I try using my destructive disc, but I forgot. I'm like, oh, wait, it's not charged. Boom, after image. I mean, it's so overpowered. I'm like, oh, no, why didn't I use key attack there? I'm like, oh, no, that could cost me. Nope, sorry about that. I just went around him as he tried doing the combo breaker since I didn't have after image. And what I do here? Oh, I, I think I just rushed him a little bit, trying to go near him. I have to be honest, I don't know what that was. I don't know why he didn't get out of the way. He had trouble seeing right there, but luckily the, he fell off the rock. All right, what I do here? Uh, I, I, why didn't I full charge? Oh, because uh, 
after image, right? No, what happened there? Yet to know what happened there. I think I had after image active. Oh, yeah, apparently I did. I don't know what happened. And I finished him off with Kamehameha in the back. Now I thought, oh no, TN. TN has after image, and I'm like, I, I don't have that much health, so I'm like, I should probably switch character. Joke's on me, I switched to the wrong character. I do not want Majin Buu. But luckily, that attack literally just blocked his... Dang it. And he tries it again, and I'm like, huh, I could do it again. But I forgot that once he does that, I can't block that Dota rank because I still have a little bit of an after effect after using that. And I don't know what he, why he did that here, but he decided to use Dota Ray again, and was like, oh, I'll block it again. Solar Flare from that long away. I think when he did that Solar Flare, he was trying to figure out what button it was for the, um, uh... He's going to deflect this, I think. No? Wild Sunset. And for some reason, I did that attack, which I did not mean to do. Even though I know it wouldn't have worked, I'd still rather use the Kamehameha. That did no damage to me whatsoever. I don't even know why. For some reason, he punched me once. I got recoiled. Try punching him. Try doing the activate attack. Nope, moved around him because I figured out how to do that. And basically, for some reason, like this game, you can you're able to rush that the enemy so much. Like you can just keep spamming your rushes every two seconds. Like look at that wild sense. Like how are you supposed to hit someone when they do that? You have to be. I by the way, there I hit a tree, so I couldn't get myself up. I hit one out of like a hundred trees on this planet. On a planet, 100 trees, and I hit one by accident. Yep, couldn't get out of the way there because I was still in the action of using my key attack. Tried using tri beam. Don't know why I didn't attack right on because uh, if I attacked earlier, the wild sense wouldn't have been activated. Ran out of key, so I can try it again. This is basically where you just like punch off and see who can like punch harder. So I tried like going around him when I was doing that, but no. Wild sense. Yeah, no, he blocked that one actually. Yeah, couldn't do anything there because I was in the action of doing my key attack. Tried using it again, but he keeps blocking it. <clears throat> and here I'm like, oh dang it, this went in perfect. I don't have any key though. And I tried getting it again, but it did not go so well. Kept blocking it. Tried it again. No, it didn't work. Tried it again. Nope, he solar fled me. That costed me everything. I tried turning around as fast as possible, but I died. My head's inside a rock. And then I'm like, eh, Krillin. Alright, let's see if we can beat him. He has a wild sense. I have after my image. I should be able to beat him very easily. But let's just see the outcome here. Try going near him, and if he tries using any key attacks, I'm just gonna... Yep, he did. Oh, nope, after image, after image, boom. Kamehameha there, but he blocked it. Nope. And then he used the solar flare. That could have costed me. That really could have costed me. But I'm like, I had a Kamehameha, it hit. And I'm like, oh, come on, just die. Nope, after image, boom. And then he's dead. This leg and arm are like inside of a rock. I really need to fix the programming on the rock. And then, you do not want to know what happens. It's Ginger 2.0. He's like going to kill everyone. He has this one move that you can't dodge. It's impossible. You can't dodge this attack. Hell Flash. 
Once he picks you up, you are dead. It's just like Monster Crush. You can't block it. Except this one's even more powerful. You can't do anything about this attack whatsoever. I can't even after image that attack. It's so awesome. But then the android came in, and I thought I could counteract it with that attack called Endgame. But no, nope. it's the recoil me since it won't let me block. And I was not able to do one single thing about it. I mean, if I could rip my arms off and make them turn into cannons, oh my god. So basically what he was doing here is basically doing the Zarbon thing. These are all randomized characters, by the way. That's why he doesn't choose these. And I'm like, oh my god, perfect timing. But I'm like, oh, thank you for that recoil. Because it takes four hours. When you shoot a volley attack, that if you dodge it, you have plenty of time to shoot your uh, enemy. Because you're still in the moment of the key attack, so you can't move at all. So this, we're just standing it off. He's like, I'm just going to let my key charge. And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not going to let that happen. Boom. Hell Flash can't block it. Can't do anything. It's like the worst move. It's Monster Crush and Hell Flash. Apparently, they're only, these characters are only overpowered because of those attacks. I can't do anything about it whatsoever. And I thought I wanted to rush him right here so he doesn't get his key up. But no. So I can't punch him fast enough since my character isn't that great. The android's terrible. Can't do anything one single thing about it. I don't remember if I end up winning this battle or not. But I tried doing that. I thought he would use his health flash and he didn't have any key available to him. Tried using all the combinations I knew to try to get him down to one bar of health. So that when I get a full bar of key I can use my special. Or ultimate. But Sadly, it didn't work out to my favor, and I don't know why he didn't use a, uh, the, my end game attack right there. Can't block this at all because I died. My head's in the freaking mountain side underwater or something now. It's terrible. And I only did that because I knew he would obviously do the hell flash. Right when he did that, I'm like, my team is just going to get destroyed. Like, once you do these rush attacks, your team is just going to get absolutely destroyed. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Like, you can't deflect it. You can't guard it. You can't do anything. I'm like, oh, perfect timing. He finally did that. And right here, I'm just trying to dwindle away his health as much as I can. I probably would have been able to take him out if I, that attack combo worked, but it didn't. So, he recoiled me there, and I'm like, oh no, what am I, what's going to happen, what's going to happen? So, I'm just trying to, like, windle his health away by doing small key attacks, and he kept blocking them, and I couldn't do anything. I tried as best as I can trying to kill him with these small little key attacks, and that one actually hit me. He deflected it back at me. And I'm just like, wait, this isn't going to happen, this isn't going to end this way. It's not going to end this way. It's impossible. So I'm like, I'm going to rush him like this. Nope, didn't work, missed, and then he used his self-destruct move. And then right when this happens, he had one speck of health left. And I'm like, oh my god, I gotta kill him, kill him. And I just smashed all my buttons to see what would happen. I shot two key attacks at him. And there's the end of that battle. I ended up winning. Thankfully, I ended up winning. Now, for the next battle, it will kind of, you know... Get you thinking. I mean, you'll see when we are we choose our characters. And it, to be honest, to me, that next battle was not fair because I think he used his custom characters to beat me, and I didn't know. I, he accidentally chose random characters, and then he's like, "Oh no, I chose random characters," and I clicked the A button. And I'm like, uh, and he only chose three characters at the time. So I'm like, oh, do you want me to quit and we can restart? He's like, no, 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 we'll do, we'll do it anyway. So he chooses his characters. And I'm like, all right, I'll, I guess I'll just choose three random characters too. And to be honest, they're like the worst characters that you can choose. Uh, at first, I thought I might as well give him a break. Since I thought they were really bad characters. And choose like really bad characters in return. 
But then he's like, nah, just choose three random ones. And I'm like, okay. But so I get, I end up getting rid of Yamcha in a second now. I, I don't even know why. I just started choosing like really bad characters. But no, I just do random. And I get Kid Buu, Vegeta, and Yamcha. But no, I forgot. This is when he said... This is when he said, oh no, I accidentally clicked A on three characters, and I'm like, okay, well then we'll do it. Then I got, like, Nappa, and I'm like, no, I'm not accepting that. And I'm like, Frieza first form, terrible. Trunks like that, terrible. Then I'm like, oh my god, I got Ginger 2.0. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna smoke your team, but that just, it does not work at all. You can't, it doesn't work. It's impossible. You can't do anything. I, I just die. I always die. <laughs> now, usually, since in the anime, how Frieza destroyed Bardock with one attack, um, in this case, it doesn't really work like that. And I don't know why he chose that second map. For some reason, he thought it was logical to choose that second map. Then I'm like, I see his characters. I'm like, um, wait, I thought you said you chose random ones. He's like, oh, you must have understood me wrong. I meant I choose three random characters of mine. As in, he chose his custom characters. And I'm like, oh, thanks. I'm like, this should go well. So I'm like, I'm probably gonna lose. But then, it just gets funny. Because I actually ended up winning. But, yep. That I tried guarding that, I forgot I get like combo breaker. No, he's just gonna do it again until I stop. Frieza is a real in first form, Frieza has a really slow attack rate and I can't really get anything off. I wanted to get um Frieza second form as fast as possible. So I fell down there. I I did a backflip off the cliff so I can change onto my second form so I can attack a little bit faster. Because if I was staying in Frieza's form for like ever, I would I just I wouldn't have made it at all. And I thought things were going well at the time since I got my first key attack off on him as I hit him flying, and I'm like, alright, now that I have enough time I can go to Frieza third form. And once I did that, things started to change a little bit. His charge rate got slow. Uh, I couldn't do anything about that. And then all of a sudden he's a special. Thank God for some reason. I don't know why. It just went right through me. I don't even know what happened there. My charge rate is really slow though. And I hit, luckily I, I hit him with that attack. I don't even know why he didn't block it or go away anywhere. But then I'm like alright. This isn't going so well. I gotta go to my last form as fast as possible. So this is my last form that I was able to use, but I'm like, oh no, wait, that's not good. Alright, what do I do here? I'm like, okay, wait a second, I gotta change my strategy a bit. I tried rushing him, but thank, the, in his favor, thankfully, he had a rock protecting him, and I was just, like, sad. I'm like, ah, if I got that combo off, I would have been able to hit him with all my key and do whatever. But no, it didn't work like that, apparently. And I tried getting as many hits off as possible. I tried guarding that. It did not work. Then, Trunk. I realized that Super Saiyan t uh, the Super Saiyan Trunks had a rush ultimate attack. So all I had to do was land that ultimate attack, and I was very close to beating him. So I tried rushing him here to see if I can get behind him, and I did, but then I'm like, when did Bardock get Wild Sense? And that really almost costed me there. Thankfully, he switched characters, and I was able to get enough time so I can deflect that. Now, when it comes to the buttons, I really memorize my Xbox controller, because I, I can click those buttons as much as I want, and you can't beat me at that. Literally, like, I, I just like staring at TV in co full concentration mode, seeing what button comes up next, and I'm just like, you can't beat me. So, right when I hit him, I re used recoil because I hit him, and then I used, right after that, I used my burning attack. Luckily, it trunks attacks faster. That, like, hit me point blank in the face. 
How did that not kill me? I don't know. I hit him from like a mile away there. I don't even know what happened. And this is my ultimate rush attack for my final move. And I think I tried doing it again, but he came a little bit too fast, and I couldn't really do that because I forgot that he had G Galactic Impact or whatever it was called, Galactic something impact and then I'm like alright I gotta use it now before he charges full key nope blocks it does that tries punching him nope block it and then all of a sudden he's like oh wait no I have uh, that impact move whatever it's called I try kicking up in the air luckily it works For some reason I didn't do the combo yet again Now, when it comes to this guy, <laughs> he ends up doing something very drastic that really made him lose. And I'm like, whoa, what was that attack? He comes near me. I'm like, dude, just come near me for a second. What does this attack even do? I'm like, just watch this. Watch what I'm about to do right here. And for some reason, I just, like, throw my hand off. He's like, wait, do it again. What is that? I, so I go closer, and I do it, and I'm like, oh my god, it turns you around. He's, I'm like, that's interesting. That might be handy. And right here, I couldn't really do much about it, but I still blocked it. As long as I blocked it. It still did a bunch of damage for me blocking it, though. Also blocked this one. Then, when it comes down to this move... I'm like, revenge in my head. And he literally could not get anything off of me once I did that move. He actually, yeah, you know, I'm just going to wait until it happens. <sighs> No, he switched again because Bardock, apparently, I don't know why he did that. And I knew that Gingerbot 2.0, or such as Android, did not have any ranged attacks. I'm like, I should have just let him switch characters, but I think he didn't have any... I think he only has, like, an I-beam attack. That's not... That's, like, close range, and then he has a Hell Flash. I couldn't really do anything. I tried using the I-beam to see if I can get it right off the bat, but no... I'm like, I have explosive way, but that's not really that helpful. Try getting to him before he does that, but I'm like, oh, wait, no, eraser cannon. That's not good. Block it. I blocked it. And also, I'm like, hell, flash. <laughs> oh, God, this is really fun doing this. I'm like, revenge. Revenge for everything you've done. Right when he gets up, I just start punching him and punching him. Then, oh no, I'm just going to transform into Legendary Super Saiyan. Well, that's just way too bad for you because I got Hell Flash. And you couldn't even get the attack bonuses because he literally... Just I just punched him in the chest and right there just like it costed it for him. I'm like oh no wait oh the hell flash it didn't work and all of a sudden he just said to me says you know what I'm not gonna win he just he rage quit because he's like that move is just completely overpowered I'm not gonna win so he rage quit the game and there was absolutely nothing that he could do about it so I ended up winning two out of three I'm pretty happy. And uh, I'd like to le uh, leave a like and subscribe, guys, if you want to see more. See ya. That was like the best.